In this topic, we are going to talk about a very important dimension of knowledge, uh, which is the distinction between tacit and explicit knowledge. It is something which you may have come across um, in other courses as well, because uh, we discuss it in terms of a number of things. We discuss it when we are talking about learning and human resource management. But in this topic, we are going to particularly look at the difference between and the importance of uh, explicit and tacit knowledge, particularly of the tacit knowledge and how is it used and how why is it important for knowledge management and knowledge creation. Um, you would already know a little bit about tacit knowledge, but let's look at the, uh, the definition of it. Uh, tacit knowledge basically is person specific. It is not something which could be uh, the, the tacit knowledge that I have no, nobody else can have that because the way I deliver the lectures probably um, even if somebody tries to replicate that nobody else will be able to do that exactly in the same way because it is something which is inbuilt in my personality and in uh, that is something which is uh, which is related to my personality and therefore it is person specific similarly a surgeon who is uh, uh, conducting a surgery a partic one particular surgeon who is doing it in that way uh, that is only going to be his skill. Obviously, he will when he will uh, somebody else will will replicate it. It won't be wrong or it won't be something which is disastrous. But that is only going to be the skill of that person. Or when a person paints, for example, so sadkan can only be one sadkan, and nobody else can replace the tacit knowledge that he has. So in some kind of uh, uh, disciplines, tacit knowledge is more. In some disciplines, tacit knowledge is a little bit limited and it can be more replicated. For example, in, fi in, in the fine arts, um, the actors, for example, uh, an actor with a, with, with a big name, a celebrity with a big name, that cannot be replicated. People do try to replicate that, but uh, there are the, the actors which have made name in their particular uh, fields. Nobody can replicate that. We can learn from that, but that is the tacit knowledge that they have. Uh, but in some other fields, uh, in the other disciplines, uh, a lot of knowledge is something which is not tacit and that is something which can be easily uh, replicated. Uh, so tacit knowledge, it consists of uh, personal experiences, uh, it consists of skills and its skill, it consists of attitude. So the attitude of a person, how you behave in a certain situation, do you get uh, panicked? Do you get, uh, are you calm and peaceful? Do you react or do you respond? All these are attitudes and they are kind of person specific and therefore they are hard to formalize. You cannot create a formula for that. That this is the formula that, okay, when you, uh, when, when you are exposed to um, um, in a challenging situation, how are you going to react? You will react in your own personal way. And you may learn, but your pers personality cannot be, uh, it, it cannot be taken out of that reaction. And therefore, it is difficult to communicate to others. Um, uh, it, it, it's not possible to communicate how, uh, how you are doing something. If you are, for example, uh, speaking well, it's difficult to tell somebody else how to speak well. Well, you can say you, can, you should be confident. You can say that you should uh, have a good vocabulary, you should say that you should practice in front of the mirror. But even if somebody listens to this, confidence is something which cannot be transferred, like it cannot be communicated. It is something which needs to be developed. It is something which is person bound. So tacit knowledge is knowledge which is person bound, person specific, and it consists of subjective things which cannot be formalized and therefore cannot be communi uh, communicated. On the other hand is explicit knowledge. Explicit knowledge is kind of simple to understand and explicit knowledge by contrast is independent of the person who holds it. So, what is the difference that explicit knowledge is that you can independent kar sakte hai from the person who has it. So, for example, अगर एक बुक है तो वो इंडिपेंडेंट नॉलेज है अगर किसी और के किसी के दिमाग में है तो इट डजेंट मैटर इट कैन गो इन द माइंड्स ऑफ 
a number of people it's not linked with the mind of the person who has read it it is independent of the person who holds it so when something can be written in a book when something can be written in a formula when something can be written in some kind of instructions that is explicit knowledge and therefore it can be easily communicated and shared in the form in a number of forms for example hard data scientific formulas codified procedures or universal principles jo ke for example aapke paas theories hoti hain they are universal principles on which can be easily communicated the difference between explicit and tacit knowledge is that explicit knowledge can be transferred through written routines and instructions so you can just tell somebody you need to do this you need to learn this you need to memorize this you need to uh, practice this but tacit knowledge is something which is highly content specific jo uska content hota hai wo that is specific to that content for example jo painting hai wo wohi painting hai uska content jo hai wo replicate nahi ho sakta ya uska content jo hai wo डिस्क्राइब uh, नहीं हो सकता मोनालिजा इज अ मोनालिजा सो इट इज हाईली कॉन्टेंट स्पेसिफिक इवन इफ यू मेक अ कॉपी ऑफ मोनालिजा वेल दैट इज नॉट समथिंग विच इज गोइंग टू मेक यू लर्न हाउ टू बी क्रिएटिव इन आर्ट्स इट एग्जिस्ट इन एन इंडिविजुअल मेमरी एज एक्यूमुलेटेड बिलीव एंड एक्सपीरियंसिस सो वट आई अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट लाइफ इज समथिंग विच हैज डिवेलप्ड थ्रू माई बिलीव थ्रू माई एक्सपीरियंसिस your understanding about life is based on your experiences if your experiences are very much different from my experiences then you will not look at life and you will not react to life in the same way that i do so and it is often invoked when circumstances uh, circumstances dictate so tacit knowledge is not something which you are always communicating it is not something which you are applying to your task all the time it is not something which is part of your work description it is something which comes out when a certain situation arises so it is mostly it is manifested in personal interactions